your boy King Brando. What's up, Brando fam? How you doing? Uh, I got another treat for y'all, another anime uh, reaction, because I forgot to do one yesterday. I didn't make any videos yesterday. I just chilled on a Sunday, watched the NBA playoffs, chilled and watched Netflix and all that stuff. But we back to business today, so I got another uh, top 10 anime battles. So I think y'all going to like that a lot. And plus, like a little channel update a little bit, I got two videos that's not going to be reactions coming up because some good things happened to me. Some very great things happened to me. One is going to be about college and stuff, so I'm just telling y'all that now. It's going to be a college video coming up uh, pretty soon. And then it's going to be a YouTube update uh, for those who want to know or whatever. It's going to be a YouTube update, so be on the lookout for those two videos. Please support me on those two videos, uh, you know. Brando fan, we support each other because we love each other, you know, all love in here, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this reaction video, another top 10 anime battles. Let's go. Y'all enjoyed all the other anime. Un ah, I can't even talk. I was saying it right, too. Uh, y'all enjoyed all the other anime videos, so hopefully y'all enjoy this one, too. Get this to y'all on this Monday afternoon. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I wonder if they're gonna talk on this one. Cause the last one they kinda left me out to dry. Yay, they're talking. Nope, never mind, they're not talking. Oh they are! Another top ten enemy. Sorry if y'all gonna see the the uh volume button. For this list, we've compiled some of the most brutal and Finally, because last time it was like We'll be expecting ranking battles from anime series and not movies. We'll also be counting down one battle per series. Alright, hold on. Last time they left me out to dry because it was just like all, um, you know, all anime, no type of commentary, not even the stuff from the actual anime. So, you know, but now I like it. Because they're talking. <laughs> you ready to die like your Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause I missed that one too. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm being a little sloppy. Afro Samurai. I heard of this before. Funimation be having some happy. dope stuff. Lastly, be sure to check out our first list of the top ten anime battles. Please enjoy, but beware of spoilers. We don't care about spoilers, cause we're still watching Attack on Titan, one of my favorite animes. Number ten. Okay. Simone versus the Anti Spiral. Gurren Lagann. You use your spiral power to satisfy your own desires and grow drunk on it. It's your fundamental limitation. What anime fan doesn't enjoy Ooh. an old-fashioned riveting mech battle? The final battle between the leader of the Dai Gurren and the Spiral King. Not I don't know nothing about the this. Abilities of both their Gurren but I'm just going to enjoy it. Also their unwavering determination. Don't underestimate us. We don't care about time or space or multidimensional whatevers. <laughs> Despite the backup Simone had from various members of the team, he proved to be vastly overpowered. Damn! No, no, Rarely do you ever see the dude lose. I actually like when they lose, though. After abandoning both their lagons to take the battle mano a mano, Simone impales the anti-spiral with his last screw attack, exploiting his only weakness. Oh! No. So he actually won. Number nine, okay. Afro versus Jinosuke. Afro Samurai. Samurai. I'm gonna have to watch this because I heard a lot of people talking about this. Tell me, is it good in the comments? Raise their childhood friends with a friendly hello or how you been. When it comes to the two most skilled swordsmen in the world, however, greetings work a bit differently. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think a teddy bear is supposed to be walking around the damn kimono strapped with blades. <laughs> Refusing to initially draw his sword, Afro sets the pace of the battle by creating distance and evading Jinosuke's attacks. <laughs> Oh, so he that wrong. Agonizing Afro and revealing his true face. Jinosuke lures Afro into committing to the fight. Hold on, what's his true face? Ninja Ninja sacrifices himself that Afro can focus his final blow through his opponent's life support. Ooh. Okay, I'm watching that. I don't care. I'm watching it now. Number eight, he's a robot. Guts versus Zod. Berserk. Zod, the I'm watching that. I don't care. Afro Samurai, you're on my list. I got a list of animes I need to watch before I go to college. Expect things to go one of two ways. One, you die. Two, Dang. you die painfully. You could live too. <laughs> Upon entering his tomb and witnessing his entire squadron demolished, Guts furiously charges at the ten foot apostle. Zod's overconfidence initially leads to Guts getting the upper hand. During the past 50 years, not a 
single warrior has been able to defend against my attack, except you. Unfortunately for Guts, however, Zod has a second form, which ends up being too much for Guts to handle by himself. You love the devil! Feel like a like a animal devil. Number seven, Emiya Kiritsugu versus Kotomin Kire. Fate zero. It's usually a bad idea to bring a sword to a gunfight, but six swords does balance things out a bit. After a classic standoff, six these manifest their weapons through their mastery of mana and begin an intense fight. Ooh. Kiritsugu's speed stops Kirei from getting the distance he needs How long? from ranged attacks. When Kirei gets the upper hand and thinks he's about to win, Kiritsugu's time-altering techniques turn the fight on its head. Utilizing the last of their strength, the two Ooh. are immediately caught in a stalemate as the roof above them collapses. Oh. Is that blood? Number 6. Kimura Kenshin vs. Shishio. Uruni Kenshin. Born of the same war-torn era, molded these two into the greatest assassins their country had ever witnessed. I haven't enjoyed this, but I have to admit that I find your strength awesome, Shishio. Now opposed by their differing ideas for the future of Japan, the two ronin face off and defend their ideals with their swords. Kenshin now fights with a reverse blade sword, putting him at a disadvantage. <laughs> Why would you fight? Well, hold on. You're supposed to fight with the traditional one. Kenshin is as clever with his tactics as he is with his blade and keeps the fight fast-paced and drawn out, causing Shishio to overheat. Ah, oh, that's bogus. That's a dull way to uh, go about it. Number five, to win. Shigo versus Kichiki Bakuya. Bleach! Bleach. I tried to watch Bleach, but it's just so long. It's just so long. Like, it, it, it's not the best to me. I guess you gotta keep watching it to get into it, but... It was a fight that brought out the most in its characters. I don't know. Placing himself in the middle of a family dispute. Ichigo faces off against Bakuya, the captain of the 6th Division of the Imperial Guard. If you lose, I will never forgive you. In antagonizing Bakuya, Ichigo angers the Shinigami captain, who shows both hey, Ichigo Shinigami, and Death Note. Bleach fans what he is capable of. Watch carefully, Ichigo Kurosaki. Realizing he didn't stand a chance, Ichigo finally reveals his Bankai, an upgrade to his weapon, for the first time in real combat. You want to know who I am? Why did you just turn into a skeleton? Hold on, I need to go back and watch Bleach. I'm sorry. Helsing? Sorry for doubting you, Bleach. I need to go back and watch it. Cause hold on. What do you think is gonna happen if you fight him? When trying to kill a powerful and immortal vampire, there are a few things to keep in mind. Being the best vampire hunter in the world is a good idea, and bringing the right hardware can't hurt either. Each brings a unique set of skills and equipment to the table. And after all we've been through in the Hellsick series, this battle is unforgettable. For the first time, I can face a single vampire in combat. Dracula stands alone. Anderson, severely outclassed by the much more powerful vampire, puts up a valiant fight, while Alucard is enjoying the fight perhaps a little too much. Show me more, Alexander Anderson! <laughs> Number three, Krollo versus Silva and Zeno Zelnik. Hunter Hunter! That's my series, y'all. That's my series. Oh, I love this fight too. Assassins versus one leader of a It was so wrong. Who do you think comes out on top? The Assassin. Masterful skill to steal others' abilities had Even though he Zelnick technically won Silva to me. Zeno approach with caution. Krollo warned me because he was still alive. He pins Krollo to a wall with his Nen ability, giving Silva ample time to strike him down with an explosive technique. <laughs> However, when the assassins learn that their client was killed, the Zoltik family call off the fight and leave us all wondering who truly. That's why I said he won. They do it for the money. Number two, Bash versus Knives, Trigun. We will use these guns to dispose of mankind. I'm not gonna do that! Yes, you will! 
Holding a disdain for the human race is one thing, but enacting a plot to destroy them would lead these people to look human to too. Duel. The reunion between Bash and Knives immediately results in what can only be described as a cowboy duel on steroids, huh. with an intense bout of Russian roulette. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and much of their actions mirror one another. Bash keeps a cool head, however, and his courage is what dips the balance in his favor, and when the dust settles, he comes out on top. Oh. Before we unveil our pick for the top anime battles, here are a few honorable mentions. mentions. Come on, man, this fight was epic. That fight was epic. Sasuke. Y'all taking away all the best, best ones! Your sentimentality robs you of any Kill with you. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch a lot of anime before I go to college. Stay back. Let's get it ugly. I'm sorry about the last video, because it was fairy tale, not um My Hero Academia. I'm sorry. Number one, Asuka versus mass produced Avas. The end of Ava. With that. What the what the heck? In a well, fight against nine mechanized cyborgs, ferocity ends up being as important as strength. It looked like that uh, little thing from all Stranger Things. But her aptitude as an Ava pilot and her indomitable will to succeed carries her through a battle that should otherwise mean her slaughter. You were always protecting me! Always watching over me! Man, I could have had a better one than that. Fight ...as she mentally loses herself on the battlefield. <laughs> Which anime battle was your favorite? Man, you think we missed? the honorable mentions was my favorite. Topic, oh, top yeah. Ten anime battles. And for more intense top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah, subscribe to them. But uh, my mine was the honorable mentions. The honorable mentions was the best ones to me. That in the uh, the Hunter Hunter the Crollo one. Uh, first the Zoldic family. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that though. I enjoyed it too. I feel like they should have put some of them honorable mentions on there. But I mean, I haven't seen the other ones, so I don't really know how good they are. I'm gonna have to watch them just to see like why they put them there because them honorable mentions to me was better than them than the parts that I saw. But yeah, it's Baby Boy King Brando. You gotta do this thing called the three clicks. I was trying not to do it, but you gotta do it. I'm sorry. If you wanna join the Brando family, you have to do it. You just have to like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the post notifications. I really wasn't going to do it because I do it every video, but I'm like, hey, what the heck. So do that, join the Brando fam, and it's Baby Boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah.